All right, so the government fees are, the last set of fees this is typically the second most extensive set of fees. Uh, the main ones are a county and state mortgage and deed fee. So that's a total of four. You got the county mortgage and the county deed, and then the state mortgage and the state deed fee. These are based upon the value of the mortgage and the value of the house. So um, typically these could run up to, total up to a half a percent of uh, the total uh, mortgage and uh, home purchase price, like all combined together. You're not gonna pay a half for each and total up to 2%. Uh, no, it's not, not that expensive usually. Um, but just keep in mind that the seller traditionally pays about a 1% deed fee, uh, but you as a buyer don't have to worry about that, not until you sell in the future. Um, then some of the smaller fees that you see are what's called recording fees. They're around $100 combined. Uh, it's for someone at the county clerk's office collecting your information for uh, entering it into public and government record. Um, one of the places I do do a lot is DC. It can be expensive on the government fees, but their monthly property taxes are usually less to make up for it. Um, and then in some states, first time buyers, uh, like places in DC and Maryland, can get a nice credit if you qualify with the government for their reduction. Now you'd have to qualify to get that reduction by being within an income limit and not buying a home that's over a certain dollar amount, but a lot of people can get that. And that's probably what you need to know about the government fees. Thank you for watching.